Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Psychic Medium Raymond Guzman and today I'm going to be doing your weekly horoscope forecast for the week of March 16th through the 22nd, 2020. I hope everyone is doing well. I hope everyone is calm and not panicking about this whole coronavirus pandemic and just the hysteria that, you know, the media is um, propagating and also just sending out, you know, um, and creating this this uh, huge updates every hour on the hour, but it's all you know mind control when it goes down to it, uh, boils down to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into your horoscopes this week. I'm gonna be breaking them down by elements. So I'm gonna start with my fire signs, which are gonna be Aries, Leo. Or Sagittarius. So if you're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, this is your horoscope for this coming week. Uh, immediately, I feel like a lot of you that um, would be listening and you're a fire sign this week, there's a lot of questions that need to be answered. There's a lot of um, paranoia and hysteria that some of you may be holding on to, which is normal because a lot of people, you know, are getting told different stories that we're going to go on a lockdown that this and this and this is going to happen the thing is that you need to just chill out take some deep breaths say some mantras uh you know relax yourself light some candles aromatherapy work with essential oils because the energy this week is very tense especially for those of you that um have been told from your jobs to work at home uh, and if you have kids that are small and that schools is, is not in session and you have to work with at home and you have your kids, it's going to add some stress, even though, you know, you love your kids, there's going to be some stress factors. Um, I also feel like it, this um, this week, there's there's some of you that may not be affected by any of this that I just mentioned, but there is some focus on your relationships, your partners. Um, some of you could be a select few of you could be experiencing some heartache, some some pain around a relationship trying to get some more communication from your partner or having them you know um, pitch in and do their their work you know and kind of contribute to the actual relationship um, I also feel like this week is very tense so moods could fly very very rapidly um, a lot of you could be on edge listening to the news try to disconnect from social media a few hours a day if you can uh, turn off the TV, the news, CNN, Fox News, turn it off because again, everything that you hear is just going to continue to like add to your blood pressure, add to your levels of anxiety, etc. There's also a lot of concerns about your money for those of you that would be affected by this and your job has like um, told you to stay at home or if you have, you know, um, children that are you know usually you have to pay a babysitter and they're not in school and your babysitter is not available you're having to scramble for ideas on how to rearrange your life around this um so there's a lot of nervous energy but i feel like also in the silence in these moments that you have to yourself you need to take full advantage of it because um if you're a fire sign out there i feel like you can um kind of start getting things done that you haven't been able to instead of panicking channel that energy into accomplishing the things and writing down goals and being prepared so when things start back up again everywhere um you will you know kind of have a flow a rhythm and flow uh to keep going because a lot of you right now i feel like are up in your mind space there's a lot of anxiety uh it's you know it's not a good situation but things are going to get better however I feel like this week you're going to um, tend to, you know, do the things that you haven't been doing, whether it's spring cleaning, whether it's like um, stocking up on your, your pantry, stocking up on your, you know, um, goods. Um, a lot of this is going to be planning this week for all of you fire signs. So this was a horoscope for all my fire signs out there. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'm now I'm going to go on to the next set of signs. All right, guys, so the next set of signs that I'm doing the readings for um, your horoscope, weekly horoscope reading for is my water signs. These are going to be Pisces, Cancer or Scorpio. So if you're a Pisces, a Cancer or a Scorpio, you're a water sign. This is your horoscope for this week. Um, 
kind of like what I said for my fire signs, um, for a lot of you water signs, I feel like there is uh, a lot of you walking away from a job. Maybe your job told you to go home for two weeks. Maybe you are planning on taking some time off because you are preparing for this. Um, supposedly, there's so many rumors going around of lockdowns and etc. that will be happening. The thing is here, you need to take a deep breath. You need to woo in through the mouth, I mean, in through the nose, <laughs> out through the mouth, relax, take a deep breath, center yourself. A lot of you this week are going to feel very chaotic, whether you're at your home working remotely or whether you're just chillaxing in quarantine in your home, wherever you're at in the world right now, the best thing to do is take some time and be uh, loving to yourself. Be gentle on yourself. Don't start panicking. Things are going to be moving forward in a lot of areas in your life. Any downtime is good time to start relaxing, to center yourself. Even if you feel uncertain about your job, everything is going to be okay. But I feel like a lot of you water signs are going to be turning to a female figure in your life, whether this is your wife, whether this is a partner, a girlfriend, whether this is a mother figure, a sister, an aunt, a cousin, or just your your BFF. There's going to be someone that you talk to, and I feel like it's going to help you ease some of these concerns that you have. I also feel like you may be very nurturing this week to your children, to people in your environment, more caring. Um, there's a lot more uh, patience that spirit is asking for you to have. Because again, like I said, with the fire signs, I feel like this whole week is a very intense energy. And so um, a lot of you could be on edge with your moods. Not good. And a lot of this is coming from social media. It's coming from TV. Disconnect when you can. You know, look at look at my binge watch my YouTube videos, um, you know, not to toot my own horn, um, but do something, you know, or watch some music videos on YouTube. Do something that is kind of like taking your mind to a different place. Find your Zen like place. Um, a lot of you are planning your vacations right now. I can see a lot of you possibly booking airline flights because it's so cheap right now in advance. Um, so I feel like a lot of you may be doing some planning some vacations for summertime because um, all of this will be gone by summertime. Trust me. Um, I also feel like um, a lot of you are also um, going to be taking some trips, even though you, you should be at home. You know, right now, the way it is, um, you know, we still have liberty to go out and venture out. So a lot of you may be taking some impromptu trips, if, especially if you're out. You don't want to stay in your home, you, but you may not want to be around people, but you'll go in your car, drive around the city, you know, um, maybe go out to the woods camp for a little bit. There's something about about that. I also feel like there's um, a very masculine energy for those of you that do have a male partner, whether this is a husband, a boyfriend. There is some concerns and some... Um, focus on that person's money, especially if they're the main bread holder, um, breadwinner of the family, etc. I feel like there's some, um, some focus on their money, uh, on their goals. Um, and so I feel like a lot of communication between you and your partner, if you are in that type of relationship, um, with someone very masculine, there, there is a lot of communication about this, but one thing is for sure is that you are going to be, uh, executing a lot of things and getting a lot accomplished this week. Um, and I don't know if it's because there's going to be more free time on your, or things are slower, um, in some areas, but expect to be busy even in your downtime, because I feel like a lot of you are not the type to just, you know, you know, get your nails done and just sit down and, and watch Netflix. You know, there's a lot of other things that you need to accomplish. So that's your horoscope for this week. All right. If you are an earth sign, this is going to be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. If you are an earth sign, this is your horoscope for this week. Oh, again, so um, this week for a lot of you, I see you still, still being very busy, very much uh, in the mind frame of work planning. If you're a business owner or you have an Airbnb, you know, if your business has been impacted or your job has been impacted due to the coronavirus um, and this pandemic that, you know, and this hysteria, 
um, I still see a lot of you doing work and getting things done, whether it's planning, whether it's structuring and reorganizing your schedule for this week. But there's a lot of planning. A lot of you are also on low key, even though you come off as confident um, and not panicked uh, on a low key. <laughs> on a low key, a lot of you are really um, are very much worried. Um, and I think that's everybody. It's not just you. So don't be um, hard on yourself or try to hide that. It's best to let it out and express any concerns or worries that you have. Uh, but I feel like a lot of you feel kind of like you're defeated and a lot of you could be very, very worried about your money, specifically if there was to be, you know, like a quarantine where we would have to stay at home and you were not allowed to go to work at all. Um, there is a lot of questions that are happening, but I see a lot of you spending time with your family and friends this week. I feel like this is a week where you will find a lot of healing and comfort and some calming uh, energy if if you were to stay around your friends and family, I feel like a lot of you are also going to want to isolate yourselves rather than some of the other signs like I saw with my uh, water signs. Instead of going out and kind of being more adventurous, a lot of you want to be more at home, uh, more in your living space and not want to venture out. Now, I'm not saying that's everybody, but for some of you, it will. There's some big changes also coming. A lot of you could be in the middle of moving, a uh, lease coming up, uh, uh, you know, a lease on an apartment coming up for renewal. And a lot of you may be looking at other places. Um, so a lot of you will be using your time wisely and utilizing that this week to get a lot of that kind of done, any kind of planning. I also feel like there's some traveling. So even though you may not be traveling internationally, there could be some traveling to another city, et cetera right now. There are two different decisions that some of you are facing this week. I can't tell you exactly what that would be because everybody is different. There's too many in this. Um, in this sense, this is more of a general horoscope. It's, it's impossible to tell you exactly what those would be, but I feel like there's two decisions. One would be either in your career and one would be in your love life. And I feel like a lot of you are tossing two different ideas or possibilities around, but you cannot make a decision. And Spirit is telling you that whatever you do this week, don't make um, decisions based on anxiety or based on any fears. Okay. You need to separate fear and anxiety and, um, raise your vibration, thinking positive thoughts to get the clarity that you need in order to make some decisions. So this week it's about not making any rash decisions. Okay. I also feel like a lot of you are going to be very defensive this week. You could feel like you're, you know, fighting other people, having to stand up for yourself, for your actions. Things could get pretty ugly very quickly um, and escalate um, with your moods this week in particular, if you're an earth, earth sign. But I also feel like there's a lot of... Um, a lot of you that will be turning to a partner if you are in a relationship and if you're not turning to a friend for solace and for healing and, you know, some of you may go to your family. But like I said, I see a lot of time um, where you are going to have more time, you know, spending with the people that care about you the most. And also a lot of you are going to enjoy some of the time alone away from other people. Um, so that's your horoscope if you are an earth sign. All right, guys. And finally, this is going to be the horoscope for my air signs, which are Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. So if you're a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, <laughs> I said that backwards and forwards. Um, this is your horoscope for this week. All right. Okay. So um, immediately, I feel like a lot of you at the beginning of the week are completing a cycle. There's something that you're finishing. Um, this could be, you know, um, some leftover work from last week, some pending decisions, um, some conversations, some meetings that you'll be having at the beginning of the week. But there is a lot uh, that is being completed. For some of you, uh, I feel like uh, if you are an air sign, um, you're a lot more susceptible to getting kind of paranoid or ex 
experience some level of anxiety. Like I said before, for my earth signs, even if you come across as very nonchalant about this whole pandemic, the COVID-19, etc., there is some low-key um, anxiety that some of us are having. But I feel like you're going to be using this time wisely to plan trips, like I said before, for some of the other signs. Um, right now, flights are very cheap. You can book in advance. I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing that. There's some traveling that is going to be happening this week for some of you air signs, even if it's not out of the country. Like we know we can't, you know, there's a ban. But there's some traveling that's going to be taking place either, you know, to another city, a state. Um, there is some, you know, some things that some of you may be wanting to do to get away from the madness. And you, you're encouraged to do that by spirit. However, do stay tuned to your, um, you know, your local news, etc. for any changes or things of that nature. Right now, there's someone in your family that is being affected, or this could possibly be yourself, by someone that has betrayed them or betrayed you. And I feel like this person has been laughing and maybe spreading rumors, gossip, and it's like a low vibing individual. I feel like this would be like um, someone that was close to you on some level. And a lot of you are, um, you know, having to now deal with a lot of the. Um, having to deal with a lot of the um the the backlash of that uh and healing and so i see a lot of you um focused on your jobs um also focused on money uh this week so there's a lot of focus on your finances if you're an air sign and where is it going to be going to some of you have um a strong male energy this could be like a a family member um, or it could be a on a romantic level, who is going to be communicating with you? Uh, and you may not be expecting it, and some of you may be expecting it, but there's some communication. Um, and I feel like this is more romantically speaking, someone that maybe is not, when I say romantic, I don't mean like necessarily like lovers, but someone that maybe is interested. It's like a quote unquote a friend. Um, so I see that going on. I also feel like you have a lot of decisions to do your mind can get easily drawn into a very dark place this week. If you are a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, what I mean by that is that you are very susceptible by the energy that is very erratic right now to fall into depression, to have darker thoughts, to gravitate towards unhealthy coping mechanisms, whether that's food, alcohol, etc. So everything that you do, you may need to have a good support team around you to kind of um, feel a little bit more relaxed and not um, turn negative. Even though it's not in our nature as air signs to do so, we are human. We are living in a very uh, erratic vibration right now and frequency here on earth. So Elevate your consciousness, elevate your energy and your vibration by doing things that are very fun, uh, watching TV shows that you like, maybe also watching some comedy shows, things that can make you laugh, um, you know, spending some time hugging a tree, going out in nature, um, being around, you know, your pets is very important, um, you know, taking some chances and some risks that you haven't done before is what spirit is saying. Now, not to be foolish, you know, use your common sense when you're out around people if you have to venture out. But don't be afraid, you know, don't give in to that fear, but you just be wise about it. And again, I just feel like there's a lot of different planning that is coming up. Um, and a lot of you feeling a little bit more, um, what's the word I'm looking for, assertive and more confident as the week approaches an end because I feel like there's going to be some kind of good news that is coming forward for a lot of you air signs. So um, overall, it's not a bad week. I feel like, again, there is going to be some ups and some downs. The one thing that worries me and concerns me for a lot of us air signs is the the darker, um, the, the pull towards the darker side, the darker thoughts, but we all have a shadow side, a shadow self that we have to work through and, and, um, and find balance. That's the key. <laughs> so, um, you know, just breathe, try to laugh, try to have some fun. Again, disconnect from the matrix is going to be very important. When I say matrix, I mean, social media news, you know, kind of watch movies, do things that are going to help you um, 
distract you from this. It's not healthy for anyone at all, any sign. I don't care what sign you are to just be focused wholeheartedly on, you know, this whole COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, we need to be aware. We need to, you know, stay up to date with certain news. However, we need to also live our life and enjoy it. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Psychic Medium Ray. And don't forget that you can also book a private psychic reading with me um, at www.raymondgooseman.net. Blessings and love and light. Have an amazing day um, or night and an amazing week, my rays of light. I love you so, so much. Until next time. Bye.